to the second match between Mihalic starting the bottom left hand corner as the yellow Terran in the upper right hand corner. We have Grass starting as the blue Protoss. This is going to be on Blue Storm. And quite often I bring up CPL, which is the Coach People League, but I don't often discuss how you can sign up for CPL. So first of all, I recommend joining the CPL Discord, which if I remember to do so, I will link in chat. If not, if you don't see the link to CPL Discord in chat, put a comment on YouTube and yell at me and I'll get it done. But there's seasons that happen regularly. When there's a season sign up, you sign up. And effectively what you do is you play a handful of games, they determine your tier, and you get assigned a team which is basically practice partners and it's kind of a mini tournament that happens between a bunch of just a wide variety of skills of players. And essentially you can play with people of a similar skill level, which is difficult to find on the ladder and get really good one-on-one -on -one or just generalized coaching tips on the CPL discord or between straight up coaching individuals. There are individuals for each team that officially that try to be official coaches for each grouping. Although sometimes they have more time, sometimes they have less time. But it's a great community to hang out and learn StarCraft and just, you know, nerd out about StarCraft stuff at large. Anyway, getting into this game. This is going to be on Bluestorm. I'm actually really happy to do this cast. I had a tough day yesterday, and this just feels very cathartic. Are we going to see a 12 Nexus or some sort of proxy? We have an initial pylon done. Okay, there's the gateway. Initially... Oftentimes you'll see that first probe plop the gateway down, but Grass actually sending probe, I guess technically before Pylon. We see Refinery back here from Mihalich, and he's grabbing that barracks alongside. Instead of going for any sort of corner block here right on the edge, do a quick map reveal on Blue Storm. Instead of doing kind of the blockade here, where sometimes you'll see the supply depot here, the barracks there, and then it lifted over and pushed back to the side. But anyway, probe manages to get into the base. It's going to harass away at that SCV. We do see three SCV and gas to get a factory out a little bit sooner rather than later, but that probe getting some pretty good damage on that SCV, and that's forcing two SCV to come off the line to go ahead and escort it away. So early economic win for Grast, at least uh, delaying those minerals a little bit. I just also want to give an FYI. Uh, I know a bit of StarCraft, mostly from commentating for such a long period of time and asking professional players. Mostly I do this to be entertaining. If you really, really want to learn the game, I highly recommend, yeah, going to CPL Discord. That's the place to learn it. If you don't mind watching and kind of get an idea of like, okay, let's watch the game and uh, stick with me, that's fine. But if you really want to play the game, I am not a very good player myself. Just want to give that FYI out again. I feel like I have to give that disclaimer quite often. But anyway, uh, we do see the factory plopping down. There's only a single SCV in gas that is uh, mining there. Usually that suggests we're going to go for a single factory and two command center. That's a little bit risky on this map just because there is no ramp, which gives that nice misfire chance. And there's kind of a more wide open natural expansion than usual. And also, also I just feel like it's better to have larger amounts of ground forces to deal with Protoss shenanigans on Bluestorm because this is kind of a wide open area back here. There is opportunity to have DD drops from the north. I feel like Dark Templar drops are pretty strong. I feel like Zealot pressure is very strong. There's just a lot that can happen as far as just a straight up harass for any aggressor, honestly. And so I almost feel like maybe even on the Terran side, sometimes going Vulture Drops, things along those lines, is more beneficial. Mihalic still has that SCV sitting inside Grass Space. Grass getting that initial Dragoon out. We do see the Cybernetics Core spinning. Probe is hanging out behind that mineral line. I think he's going to wait until that SCV is cleared out before he plops down that Nexus, perhaps. And we do have that Dragoon pr produced it. And actually, two probes trying to run this down. He really wants to make sure that he denies Mihalic scouting information. Perhaps, in particular, uh, well, there's the Nexus. Is he going to see it? So he's moving. Okay, he does not, in fact, see the Nexus plopping down. And I think the hope there for Grass was to deny that scouting information so he wasn't going to go up against some of those more powerful follow-up uh, timing attacks when Protoss do go for those natural expansions. There's just a wide variety of them these days. you got like a, a several tank, and a, speaking of which, we see six Marines, and only six Marines, and one siege tank maybe? Okay, six Marines and a siege tank on wide delay, making their way out towards the mineral only, suggesting they're going to get aggressive here. And Grass is not in position to engage this, out on the front. So one siege tank and additional ring being produced, I'm wondering if he's going to start moving. No, he's not going to wait for that second siege tank. He's also going mine. So after the second siege tank, we're going to see vultures to follow this up. A couple additional gateways, two additional gateways being produced, but there was a delay in Dragoon production as those additional gateways were being plopped down. So it's only two Dragoons to provide this defense. And usually you want to have the Dragoons right in these Marines face to kind of peck away and kind of, especially with the range upgrade, to peck away and reduce a lot of those damage. And this is 
Granted, over as time progresses, Marines be are, are less effective units as Protoss gets higher tech units and also Dragoons can micro pretty well against them. But in large numbers, they shed shields very, very rapidly, allowing those tanks to do massive amounts of base damage. Two SCVs alongside, so definitely wants to try to take this Nexus out. Is this probe even going to see this army? Okay, sees the army incoming, knows something is headed his direction. A shield battery would be helpful here. So we got, what, three Dragoons? Three Dragoons try, uh, try to provide the defense. Now he's moving out to go ahead and do kind of that staggered attack, but it feels a little bit too little too late. Third Dragoon trying to engage, and he, yeah, he wants to try to delay this as much as possible. He's trying to draw this attack force south, which is a brilliant maneuver that's going to buy him some time to get some of those additional Dragoons on the front. If he can get six Dragoons out, that actually might be enough of an attack force with some micro to go ahead and defend this. Doing what he can to pick away at these Marines here, a little bit of trouble microing there, perhaps on a hold position. Driven back. The tank's actually getting some base damage on that Dragoon. They're actually fielding all the way, moving all the way around and just being, you can see, chased down by Mihalic. And fortunately for Mihalic, while he's doing all this, yeah, he's getting command center behind this. But at the same time, this was a lot of minerals that didn't result in much. Mine being deployed, ex actually being taken care of very rapidly. There's the vultures coming alongside, and that's not where he wanted to deploy these mines, and not where he wanted to have these SCVs. More Dragoons going to group up, so this is going to be five Dragoons. And honestly, with the stuttering... Uh, composition. Ooh, he didn't have... Qu oh, no! Grass losing several Dragoons because he did not have his army grouped up and also ended up with a stutter step in between that interrupted some Dragoon fire, so it made it even less effective than usual. Now he's going to have to pull probes. Mihalic at the natural... Or, sorry, at the mineral only. The Vulture's been taken care of, but there's still two tanks and six Marines there on the front. Probes getting on top of those Marines, and you can just see how quickly these Dragoons fall to that composition. They're... Our siege tanks on the front, the probes trying to get what they can. Another one being taken out, and now grasped. Honestly, what I felt like was a solid early defense and a bit of trouble trying to get an additional gateway down. He is also trying to get a shuttle to deal with that siege. Well, he's getting a second shuttle to deal with that siege tank. A vulture sneaking behind. It's getting taken care of. Despite all this, Mihalic is actually doing a great job in the overall worker count. He's six workers ahead as Grast is just having trouble dealing with all this pressure. The siege tank wandering in. A bit of a miss micro there. It's getting wiped out. And that's causing these Marines to go ahead and back off. And keep in mind, though, two of these SCVs this entire time. So it's really uh, more like a 30 count versus 25 because two of these SCVs have been off the line this entire time dealing with uh, dealing with doing some additional base. And it looks like Mielich just kind of dropping his keyboard. I'm wondering how much lag is in this game. A lot of Marines getting picked off for free. So there's only two Marines left on the front. Two SCVs still hanging out there. A single mine uh, for some form of map control. It looks like he is over... A little bit of miss micro here. He's got too many SCVs trying to mine gas at his natural expansion. So despite having uh, maybe with a reshuffle, he'll get a larger economic advantage. But right now, Mihalic in a pretty decent position, I think, with everything he did. It's kind of a weird half balance. I don't even know what to call it at this stage. It looks like he's adding two additional factories. He is at two factories total, so that'll bring it up to four. Trying to grab an engineering bay to follow this up. Hovering that barracks over that corner to try to get some scouting information. This is two shuttles for Mihalic, and I'm almost wondering if that was a misclick to build that many shuttles and maybe didn't realize, was in a little bit of pack and didn't realize he's building the addition shuttle. It looks like he's maybe going two base. I'm going to assume two base Arbiter. Although I do not see a Citadel of Adun yet, which I am worried if he's going to try to transition this into two base. And this is kind of interesting play. I am concerned if he's going to try to transition this into two base carrier. I definitely would not recommend that, especially considering what... I think that would be nearly an instant victory for Mihalic. He's also getting Vulture Speed to follow this up. He's got that Stargate up. Kind of an odd build order from Grass. I think he's just throwing everything down and the kitchen sink. It's possible he'd be, build a Scout to do some harassment, but it feels like this is way too early. He's grabbing that Nexus that is a mineral-only Nexus, keep in mind. So it's not as though it produces additional gas to really support Stargate and kind of mid-tier tech. Usually when you see this, this is going to be early two-base Arbiter. Um, so kind of a, a weird build. It looks like he feels like he's economically behind, so he's just trying to take risks. He's going to go ahead and grab two bases naked, more or less. But Mihalic does have Vulture Speed. He does have several factories down. I don't know how long these bases are going to remain hidden. And this is... He can hold this if he holds map control, but as far as raw army composition, he's about at even supply with Mihalic. So he... But... Fortunately for him, Mihalic, despite having all these vultures and all these siege tanks and a strong degree of map control, he's sitting back waiting for some harassment here. Maybe he wants to wait on a commsat station to get scouting information from there. So this probe sitting back here, it looks like it hasn't plopped down that nexus yet. 
The third Nexus is, is taking its time to warp in. We do have two shuttles. Keep in mind, one of them only has a single Zealot in it. Now we see, yeah, three gateways and a fleet beacon. So Grast is going for a two-base tech switch and is just hoping that Mihalic basically does not scout it. Playing very, very risky in this regard. Very, very risky in this regard. He's got six Zealots total in two shuttles. There's the initial commsat. I want to see if he... Did he catch it? He does see the Stargates. So, Comsat catches the Stargates. We'll see if there is a transition. There's still no armory down that I see from Mihalic, but if he responds properly, he should go ahead and drop that Stargate. He's starting to move out with the Vultures and get a little bit more aggressive. With those Vultures moving out of position, though, Grast finding an opportunity to jump on top of these Siege Tanks and wiping them out. So Grass, all of a sudden, in a commanding position, buying himself the time he needs to do that tech switch. I still feel, though, with that tech switch, he's just not going to have the raw economy to produce what he needs to. Zealot's looking to do mind drags on top of these siege tanks. Gets two more siege tanks on the front, which puts Mihalic in a very difficult situation. Mi so the Dragoon's going ahead and taking out some of these vultures. Might be able to deny the mineral only. Getting some decent spread. One mind drag into a vulture. Some more mines being placed around the Dragoons to the north. While Grast is somewhat distracted, it looks like that is going to get one additional Dragoon, but the rest of the Vultures mostly getting cleaned up. So, in good strong position to go ahead and continue to deny that mineral only, these two shuttles are going to have trouble with the Goliaths that are now being produced. And we are seeing some Goliaths here. We finally see a Starport and an Armory. <clears throat> but I take it back, the Stargates are already worrying. But I want to say critically, you'll notice this third Stargate is remaining silent. Just because I do not think that Grast has the economy... And we'll see if I'm wrong on this, but I do not believe he has the economy to sustain that. The, some zealots managing to run through the gap, I believe, and sneak out, get a turret, and now working on Mihalich's SEV line. And there's GG from Mihalich. He just doesn't... lost his entire army, didn't have enough to deal with what Grass was putting on the ground, and didn't have enough uh, anything to deal with the tech switch that Grass was putting out. So Grass, uh, I gotta say, that felt like the build order was all over the place. But... He was able to transition and just with the ground forces he had continue the assault and we'll also notice it looks like he did manage to get a, he was starting a base in that bottom right hand corner so gonna go on to a game three grass a very minor player i believe he actually participates in cpl don't quote me on that uh but hope you guys enjoyed it we are going to move on to the final match of the finals hope you guys enjoyed it thanks for listening